What do you say when someone says, we need some time to think about this, or we're going to pick this up at a later date or in the future? Oh, the classic, we need some time to think about it. So once again, whenever we do this, we want to follow the principles, lean on the principles, right? So when someone says, I need time to think about it, that's resistance, that's friction. We know if we have friction, first thing we're doing, we're going to ask a question every single time. It doesn't change. This is what we train sales teams to eventually stop trying to pontificate, start trying to discover better. If you can be a master at discovery, you're going to achieve breakthroughs with your prospects all the time. And you're going to teach them things about themselves that they didn't even know about themselves. That's how you can tell that you're world-class at sales is when you're asking questions that nobody else. And that's what you want. That, that's, that's the goal. That's that's exactly right. Yeah. That's what we want. So in this context, if somebody says, I need time to think about it, we're going to smile because we're excited that they've said that. So you, you say you need time. Tell me, why do you feel like you need time? We get them to explain. Now, they're probably going to say something like, well, I just don't know if we're ready. You're going to follow the same activity. So when you say you're not ready, what do you mean by that? So I'm taking the key word each time and I'm getting them to expound until they have a really clear answer. And that's what the great salespeople do. But until you become world-class at asking questions, you're not going to have a significant number of breakthroughs with those around you. And remember, this isn't just sales. This is all relationships that you have in life.